uh, you had an article last week dealing with the Silk Road situation. I think this is really important because if they start arresting people for what other folks do on a message board, whether it's file sharing or talking about drugs or whatever, or talking about violence, I mean, that sets a precedent like the old Soviet Union or Nazi Germany, where if your neighbor does something wrong, you go to jail. And this is classic autocratic totalitarianism, in my view. Headline, Feds hijack Silk Road case in bid to dismantle Internet freedom. Tell us about what's coming up, Paul. Yeah, this is, again, it's, it's a chilling precedent. They're trying to use this case to create bad law, which is basically based around what they call transferred intent, which, as you said, is a, a website owner, for example, being responsible for criminal behavior of one of their users. So it could be a, a just a violent comment threatening somebody. You would then be criminally responsible for that behavior. It could also be ISPs becoming responsible for their users' browsing habits. So if, if somebody visits a child porn website, then the ISP becomes liable for that behavior. And of course, we've seen with the internet filters, most of them have got nothing to do with child porn or whatever. They've blocked perfectly legitimate sites. So this is basically the entree to massive internet censorship. Some people have said that it's, it's just as real a threat as Sopra and Pippa, which attracted huge demonstrations, and we actually won those battles. This has flown under the radar. Aside from the legalities of Silk Road itself, the feds are trying to hijack this case to dismantle freedom on the internet and also push this trusted ID system where everybody has to get government permission basically to use the web. So it's a massive case. It is massive. We'll talk to the man's mother uh, via Skype coming up in the next segment. But expanding on that, Google you know, says that they scan your attachments and copy them. And so does Microsoft and all these systems when you use their email to make sure you're not sending something illegal. Well, that's like saying they're going to open all the mail to make sure there's not something illegal. It's prior restraint. It's guilty until proven innocent. And it's being done by groups with proven criminal intent to dominate and control markets and to steal uh, intellectual property. I, I mean, if you tried to walk into government buildings without a warrant and search all their stuff, they'd get in your face. Th this, again, is an inversion of the, the basic things that this country was founded on. Well, exactly. And I mean, you know, they're watching us more than ever, yet they're becoming less and less transparent. That's the whole nature of government. We're expected to be more open. We're expected to have our email read, our phone calls listened to, and just be happy with it because, you know, terrorists or whatever reason. And yet government's becoming more and more secretive as it becomes more corrupt, which is a direct relationship that we know takes place. So... Again, this, this case is massive, and it's, it's a shame that it's not got a lot of attention, but I think the interview that you've got coming up will really bring some fresh light to it and make people understand that if Ross Ulbricht loses this case, they're going to then use this law to come after website operators and owners yeah. whose users commit so-called criminal behavior, and they're going to be responsible for it. So it's going to have a massive chilling effect. We need to see the dinosaur press, the new media, all come together. I don't expect the whole dinosaur press to do it, but there are some people of conscience left there, like that AP reporter you were talking about questioning the whole fake Ukraine shoot-down narrative. We need to all come together and say, look, we need to agree on freedom of speech because they only want to take that away to then take the bank accounts, the financial freedom, the travel freedom. This is all part of a total package. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at Infowars.com forward slash show or become a member of Infowarsnews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.